Hello YouTube model community. Phil here at Horton's Hot Rod Shop. Uh, today I'm going to go ahead and do a, a stash ad from the Taylor Model Car, Taylor Town Model Car Show. Uh, <clears throat> some of the stuff I picked up. I tried this a minute ago and it took, I realized I was way long on video. So this is take two. Uh, I picked up the Vandal. I wanted one of these to go in my Tom Daniels collection. Uh, sorry, 95% there. Uh, somebody didn't do too bad of a job with it. I got some stuff to fix. I got to fix the rear axle, rear tire and axle. I got to drill and pin that. This side of it, the decals look pretty good. It needs to be cleaned up good. Uh, the grill's there. So that's one that'll be getting put back together. We'll set that off to the side over here for now. And then this thing. I first picked it up. I thought it was a maybe a Plymouth Valiant. When I grabbed it, when the guy had it on the table, it would look like it was smashed. I had the interior stuck in it and stuck up through the top of the car. So that didn't look good. You know, it looked like it had been stuffed up through here like this. And hanging out the back window. And it's got real corduroy interior stuffed into it. Um, the roof was smashed right down flat on it. And me and Paul Rogers there from Styrene Relics both looking at it and I'm like yeah it's pretty cool I thought it was a, like I said I thought it was a Plymouth Valiant at first but after I got home and got thinking about it it's a Studebaker Lark I do believe it is, I do believe it's a Johan I think they're the only ones that did them uh, but the roof had been chopped by somebody and then flat blacked everything because they sanded a bunch of I think it's just roughly painted over red paint, to be honest. Uh, the front piece is missing. It's missing the grill, all the tail lights, but it's going to end up being a custom anyway. I'm going to fix that post there and get that done. <clears throat> Same guy had this one. It was missing the boot, and I found one I thought would fit it. It looks okay on it, but it's an F85 Oldsmobile two-door. I believe it was a convertible. It might have had a hard top you could sit on it. Uh, back bumper's broke, but it's close enough. Front bumper's got the license plate broke. Back one does say 62 on it. It's got a little warping, but it is a promo. It's one of the old friction drive Johan kits, so I picked that one up. Uh, I picked up the Johan there on the bottom, the Dodge Superstock. There on the bottom. <clears throat> uh, pretty cool kit. One of them spur of the moment I wanted. I, just, I wanted the Richard Petty one sitting next to it. I wanted 35 for that, the Petty. And 50 for the Dodge Superstock, which they're both look like they're all there. Petty run is green, unfortunately, so it's probably not the actual Petty car, but I know Johan did a lot of that weird stuff with the colors. Yeah, so I went ahead and picked them up. <clears throat> I picked up the LAPD Camaro, the Tony Foti. Well, I picked that up from Tony Lancer at the show. Walk in, it's laying on the table. And if I hadn't walked around Paul, I probably wouldn't have got it. Because he'd have probably snatched it up. But I just happened to go around him and seen it sitting there. And Tony knew I wanted one. 
I don't know if that's why he picked it up when he got it or what, but it's been started. I paid up on it. Didn't even haggle with him. I kind of did. Kind of didn't. Joking with him. He, you know, hey, what's your best price on it for me? And he's like, eh, I paid almost what I got on it. So, And I knew he didn't have it the other day, so I think he bought it for himself. And then just figured if he could make a couple bucks, he'd go ahead and let it go. It's going to get built and go on my shelf with my Pro Stocks, Pro Street models. It'll set up there with my Fire Chief I got that I built. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Ford Ranger, the one right above it, the Coronet there. I picked them both up along with... <clears throat> The Yellow Fever Competition Coupe. There. Down there. Uh, decent price. Okay. Yeah, really good price to be honest. Uh, the Ford Ranger and the Coronet and that one. The guy made me a package deal on them. Three kits for... You know, basically 50 bucks. <clears throat> and then the, I also picked up this Dodge Charger Foos one. I got started on the Foos kits because of the Ford truck. Wasn't really necessarily going to start buying them. And then I got into it. <clears throat> oh, well, it's pretty cool. It's a It's a Charger I like a lot. So I bought that one. It's got a screwed up floor pan for it. I think everything else is there. I uh, didn't do a complete inventory, but I only gave eight bucks for it. Uh, this one <clears throat> I got down there, but I didn't get the box down there. I bought the box at an estate sale a while back. So you guys have seen this box before. It was full of bits and pieces. Uh... But the guy had the car in a box. In fact, it's the same guy I bought the Vandal from. In a, a Zinger box, which I can show you in a second because it's full of the parts. And it's kind of a cool little box. Zinger box. Yeah, it's a little rough. Needs a good cleaning. Got to repaint the interior. It's got the custom hood on it. Had the custom grill with it. It's been all knocked apart. Window glass is filthy. But I think it'll polish up alright. It's not really bad. It's just filthy. You can feel the dust and grime on it. And on top of that, it had the big block motor. Uh, all the wheels were in there. It's got some stuff in here that don't, I don't think goes with it, but it could. It's got a guitar case it's got a set of golf clubs in there which I have another set of them somewhere I think them are the monograms it's got the screws for the bottoms uh, I'm not sure what that piece is I don't think it goes to this kit but it's got all the custom grill pieces and stuff in there didn't have the stock ones fortunately when I bought them the box that it's in now it had, uh, sorry, let's see if I can get it to focus on this a little bit. Yeah, I didn't go into it because there's not much. Yeah, well, there's a stock grill, stock hood, the custom hood, custom grill. Bunch of the chrome pieces that go with that. Somewhere in that box of tree chrome that I just was showing you, I remember seeing... That chrome strip that's right there for the custom part. So I got some more custom pieces for the 64 El Camino. Uh, kit. I don't have the boat. There's a guy down there that had one. I just didn't want to pay pay his price for it. But this is the this is the box that came in. Let's see if I get the focus.
focusing on. There we go. That's the box it came in. So that was pretty cool. And what he had on there for price. Box is worth about half of what he had on it for price. But he had that one sitting there as well. And Paul Rogers had that in his hand. And he set it back. And he had to show it to me before he did put it back on purpose. Trying to spend my money while he was down there. And we had a good time down there anyway. Got to hang out with Tony Lancer a little bit. Didn't get to hang out with Craig too much. Uh, just walking around with Paul, trying to keep him motivated and get him out of the house and have a good time. So, did that. And I got a couple more that I picked up. Uh, from another guy down there. I picked up one of these Don Garlits. Wayne's Charger Tracksters with the Iron on T-shirt sealed kit. Picked up a whole lot of chrome trees and a big tote. A lot of custom stuff in it. A lot of Johan stuff in there. Picked this one up. I was thinking it had the new decal in it because of the surfboard. Got looking at it closer and it does have the original decal sheet. There's the surfboard. So... This is the predecessor to the one everybody's buying over there at Hobby Lobby, so I'll probably buy one more from over there. Uh, snow plow is sealed, so we left there, went, in, went to go get something to eat, and getting late in the day, so we figured we'd leave, and I talked Paul into going with me over to uh, Great Lakes Hobby down there. On Van Dyke off from 59, and they had this one sitting there. And one of where he had bought a collection from somebody. It is an old kit, it's not the re release. You can tell by the box on the bottom, it's not one of the re releases. And there's the number on it. But what he had on it, I, I couldn't get one at that price right now, I don't think. You know, guy store is phenomenal down there. I love going in there. No, it's just kind of a long drive for me. It's a 45 minutes to an hour drive to get down there. Pick that one up. We're walking around, and Paul mentioned he wanted this one down there. Kept saying he had to get one. He wants to do one stock after doing that version there. And thinking to myself, I want to do a Bumbles Bee. So I snatched snatched it up after he decided he wasn't going to buy it. Down there, so I went ahead and grabbed that one up. I had a pulled pork in my hand down there, and I had a uh, couple other ones. And every time I go in there, I, I see one of these, and at the price they go for... The old rat trap vega. You, know, you figure the price they got on them there. I haven't seen that price on kits except for 40% off sales in a long time. Joking with Paul, I told him that I needed to get the pinot to go with it if I was going to do that. We're standing there and he goes, You mean the Ridge Runner? Pulls this one out. Like, great, now I need that one too, so. And I don't see these very often. They had a bunch of these rat traps down there. Only a couple of the pinnels. So I may end up with another rat trap before it's over. So I picked up all four of them down there. Good price. Unfortunately, they had four of the new Ford trucks when we were down there. Problem is, they were all sold. I'll wait for somebody to come pick them up. So I didn't get them. Well, that being said, guys, I'm going to go ahead and shut this one off. Uh, get into the guys that put on the show down there. Keep going. It's only their second show. Fairly decent show. 
uh, it's a good time. There was quite a few people there. Uh, I think Marcy from Model Model Marcy Model Muse showed up anyway over there. I didn't get to meet her again. Could have been standing right next to her and wouldn't have known it because there was a lot of people there. Uh, you know, I usually wear my AMT coat to everything I go to, my jacket with everything I go to. It's just too warm that day to wear it. So I end up just wearing my Johan black t-shirt. Um, and like I said, it was a really good time. Uh, Raisin Cane Resins was down there walking around. Well, didn't see that he had a booth again. Uh, gonna, I got to get a couple of business cards from him and stuff so I want to get some resin motors and things. All right, this is getting kind of a long video. I'm going to go ahead and cut it off. Uh, I was going to do a little video on the 51 progress, but it's getting too long. But I am working. I'm back to working on it. Uh, trying to add some custom, some more custom look to it. And that chrome trim there. I may end up sanding it back or taking it back off. Doing something a little bit different. I like the way it looks, but it's on camera. It doesn't look as good. So. I may end up just making some full length skirts. Alright guys. Uh, you know, I will show that I, I'm actually a builder here. I don't just have kits that are all stuck together. I have kits. I'm not a model car box art collector for the most part. But sometimes you got to buy one for the box art. That kit is complete. At least it looks complete. It's missing something it ain't much uh, not one of my favorite builders necessarily but he's he did a lot of TV show cars and stuff and that made it kind of weird for me you know, he'd dress up something somebody else worked on he'd go back in and dress them up A lot of stuff got credited to his name that may not have been his. But he was a phenomenal builder. You know, had a great eye for the stuff. Uh, Alright, I'm going to go ahead and cut this off. Call it a day. Say goodnight to all my subscribers for the day. i got to get to work. So, Alright guys, have a good one. See you on the next one. Hope to meet more of you guys at the shows.